everyone, my name is Casey. I'm a naturalist at Preservation Parks in Delaware County. Today, we're going to learn about bats. Pat your head if you think bats are scary. Well, if you patted your head, hopefully we're gonna change your mind today after we learn a little bit more about bats. First, we're going to read a book together then we're going to talk a little bit about bats and take a look at some cool items so that we can help learn a little bit more. Today's book is called All About Bats. Bats fly, the sun sets. It is nighttime. Bats fly through the sky. Bat wings. There are many kinds of bats. They all have webbed wings and furry bodies. In the dark, bats squeak. They hear the sound of the squeak. This helps them to find their way in the dark. Upside down, bats can hang upside down. They hold on with their claws. Baby bats. Baby bats are called pups. This bat mother wraps her wings around her pup. Food for bats. At night, bats fly around. They look for food. Bats eat fruit or catch insects. Flying home. In the morning, the bats fly home to sleep. Homes for bats. Some bats find homes in old buildings. Some bats live high up in trees. Bat cave. These bats live together in a big bat cave. Shh, they are sleeping. So let's expand on some of the things we just learned in the book. Bats are mammals just like you and me. What does it mean to be a mammal? Mammals are covered in fur, they are warm blooded, and the mothers feed their babies milk. What are some other mammals? Animals like dogs, Cats, cows, horses, and bears are all mammals. Later, see how many mammals you can name. Bats can fly. Since we just learned that they're mammals, that makes them the only mammal that can truly fly. You might know of other flying mammals like flying squirrels, but those animals glide. That's not true flight. Let's take a look at a bat's wing. A bat's wing is made of two thin layers of skin stretched over the bat's arm and fingers. You can see that a bat's arm looks just like yours with five fingers. See the thumb? Bats have looked like this for just over 50 million years. How big are bats? Scientists have divided bats into two groups, megabats and microbats. There are about 200 kinds of megabats and 800 kinds of microbats. The biggest bat in the world is a flying fox. It weighs three to four pounds and has a six foot wingspan. That means when its arms are spread out, it is six feet from wingtip to wingtip. Can you find something in the room you're in that's six feet long? This is six feet. That's taller than me. The smallest bat is called Kitty's hognose bat. Sometimes it's called a bumblebee bat because it's about the size of a bumblebee. But it has a wingspan of about six to seven inches and weighs a little less than a penny. Can you find something in your room that is six to seven inches long? Microbats use echolocation to find their food. 
Some eat insects while others eat fish or frogs. In one night, a single bat can eat its body weight in mosquitoes. That can be 2,000 mosquitoes in one night. Do you know what echolocation means? A bat sends out a noise, then waits for the sound waves or the echo to bounce back once it has hit an object. When the sound reaches the bat, their brain uses the sounds to make a map of the object. If nothing bounces back, it shows them it is safe to keep moving forward. But the sounds might also bounce off a bug or a tree. It's like a batty version of Marco Polo with insects. Marco! Polo! Now I'm going to play you some echolocation sounds. These sounds have been slowed down so that we can hear them well, and it's from a recording. The following echolocation calls from a big brown bat were recorded as the animal hunted in a relatively open desert habitat. Can you think of another animal that uses echolocation? Dolphins will use echolocation underwater. Sometimes this is called sonar. Not all bats use echolocation. Most megabats eat fruit or nectar from flowers. Where do bats live? Bats live in large groups called colonies and prefer dark places like caves, dead trees, crevices in rocks, or even people's homes. One house in Texas had a colony of 25 million, 25 million Mexican free-tailed bats. Some people like to put up bat houses. These are special structures, kind of like bird houses, that provide places for bats to roost or to rest in during the day. Bats are nocturnal. That means they sleep during the day and they are awake at night. They also hibernate or migrate in winter. To hibernate means to sleep for the whole winter without waking up. The little brown bat is a bat that hibernates in Ohio. To migrate means to move to a different area to find food or shelter. Many bats migrate to warmer temperatures from Ohio during the winter. What is something that you do during the winter to try to keep warm? There are 13 species of bats in Ohio. All the bats in Ohio are microbats. These include the little brown bat, the big brown bat, the eastern red bat, the silver-haired bat, and the northern long-eared bat. You've probably heard of vampire bats. These bats live in Central and South America and Mexico. And no, they don't feed on humans. They prefer chickens, goats, cows, and pigs. And much like a mosquito, they only drink a very small amount of blood from the animal, usually while the animal is asleep. The animal may not even know the bat bit them at all. So now that we know a little bit more about bats, tell me, do you still think they're scary? No, they're actually very helpful. Bats eat a lot of insects that we consider pests, like mosquitoes. And bats are very important pollinators for foods like bananas, 
mangoes, cacao, which makes chocolate, figs, dates, cashews, and peaches. Raise your hand if you like any of those foods. More than 300 species of food producing plants depend on bats for pollination. And since bats fly further than insects, their droppings help spread the seeds of the fruits they eat. Scientists have begun installing bat houses in deforested areas so the bats can help naturally reforest areas by doing what they already do. What can you do to help bats? First of all, you can tell your friends what you've learned here today. You could do some research on putting up a bat house where you live. You could also plant native plants in your yard to attract the insects that native bats love to eat. For more fun after this video, try drawing a bat or draw yourself as a bat and write about what it would be like to be a bat for a day. Why not try comparing yourself to a bat? Are you a mammal? What is your wingspan? A bat's heart can beat as many as 900 times a minute. What's your heart rate? Can you eat your body weight in food? If you weighed 50 pounds, that's around 200 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Thank you for joining me today to learn about bats. I hope you learned something fun and have a new appreciation for our winged mammal friends. Bye.